All right, Python on hardware time. Blinka, blinka, blinka. Blink, blinka, blinka. Let's get right to it. Um, first up, we have a refresh of our site, circuitpython.org, all sorts of things to explore and do and learn and subscribe to and see the latest libraries, the number of boards, downloads, we have a counter, number of uh, Linux boards that Blinka uh, is supported by. So we thought, you know what? This is a lot of stuff. We should make like a one minute video that shows all the cool things about CircuitPython. We totally should, Phil. And should. Uh, Noam Pedro did an excellent oh, job. Oh, they did it. So take it away, Noam Pedro. Yay. Welcome to CircuitPython.org. CircuitPython is an easy to use programming language for microcontrollers. Here you can see the best boards that you can use to make projects. The downloads page now has over 100 boards, so you can see all of the latest hardware. There's a counter, so you can see the number grow when more get added from the community. There's also a ton of Linux boards that will work with Blinka, so you can use all of the libraries CircuitPython has to offer. Use the downloads link and grab the library bundle. You'll want to use the latest libraries to keep your projects up to date. Check out the contributors page to get involved and see all the latest pull requests and open issues. For all things CircuitPython related, check out the links in the awesome list. You can listen to podcasts, chat on the Discord server, and subscribe to the newsletter. So go to circuitpython.org and get your projects up and running. And nice. that's just the beginning. So uh, a lot more in store for CircuitPython and all the sites and properties um, that we have. Okay. Uh, I'm excited. We showed a little bit of this last week because it was breaking news. But An um, arm. Yeah. Um, no. A circuit board. Arm chip. Um, arm chip no. on an arm chip. <laughs> yeah. So Michael and Alex and Drew are working on the Open Hardware Summit badge. It's a wearable. It's a watch. And it runs CircuitPython. CircuitPython powered. Uh, over in Discord, we added new emojis um, that I just posted up. Um, the Open so Source hard the open source hardware logo, the OSI logo, and Blinka was already there. But that's uh, what the badge is going to look like. You can follow the progress on Twitter, on our newsletters, and more, and uh, get a preview of what's going to be at the Open Hardware Summit coming up in March. Uh, Moo has an update. This update for Moo is basically to fix some stuff. Catalina. Um, <laughs> we're all just dealing with Catalina, and that's okay. Uh, so if you're on a Mac and you're having problems with Moo, you'll want to download the latest yep. version of Moo. It is 1.03. It's a bug fix release with new features. Um, they didn't want to do release this soon, but you know, with OS, OS uh, X, you have to kind of keep up with what's going on. Yeah. So that's out there. But I wanted to draw attention to something. The developer of Moo, amongst other things, now has the GitHub sponsors thing. So we sponsored. We sponsor. We did. Great. We immediately sponsored. So we, we sponsor. We sponsor a couple of people. We do. We sponsor Bunny. We sponsor uh, Star from Bullport. We sponsor Arturo. We sponsor uh, Entol, Nicholas. So here's the thing. I've heard this a lot of times in, in, in the open source community. Oh, if there's uh, only, if only a way, there's a way there's only I could a way. donate to you. but Especially if like, it was like, matched. Yeah. So um, GitHub sponsors is now active and live. If you want to support a open source multi-platform application that's very helpful and useful. Great for students, free yeah. to download. But um, you know, just because free to download doesn't mean it's free to support. Somebody has to spend yeah. that time, that love, that attention. So check it out. You can find this on GitHub and it's github.com slash sponsors slash toll. You can look at it on our blog and the newsletter and more. So here's the thing. There's, there's, besides us, there's only one other person who's sponsored, Nicholas. You, everyone can do a little bit better. Go, go everybody. Sorry, we can do better. We Give can do a better. buck or two. We can do better. Um, Hackspace Magazine, latest issue is out. And Serpente gets 10 out of 10. Congratulations, Arturo. Um, nice. Big debut. 10 out of 10. <laughs> really hitting um, hard. So, Where are the gate? So one of the things, um, they compare boards. And uh, so we don't do that because if we did like comparisons, people would say, hey, you can pick data for one all the time. Even if it was like a good review. Like we know strengths and things to work on with electronics. Um, so this was really nice to see because this has nothing to do with us other than CircuitPython runs on it. And Arturo gets all the benefits of that so he can focus on the hardware. But it got 10 out of 10. Yay! Out of the gate. Good work. Eight, 10 snakes out of 10 snakes. Yeah. Um, and then we uh, also noticed that there is an article, uh, Three Ways of Blinking LED Using Circuit Python. Ben wrote a really good article in there. Um, Hackspace is free, but you can subscribe to it. If you do, you get a Circuit Playground Express. Um, the latest issue 
is available now for download or purchasing or subscription, and it's the best Raspberry Pi projects. Okay, we added some more boards to circuitpython.org. This is the Aramcon. It's a, it's a conference badge, yeah. so you can't get it if you didn't go it's to this NRF conference. It's an NRF52840. But it's super cool. Yeah. It's got an e-ink display, so that's great. And uh, here's another example of because they use CircuitPython, they got all the benefits of all the things that we did with the NRF52840. So anything that works with Bluetooth or NeoPixels or e-ink, you got all that stuff um, out of the box. And this badge it can be updated and updatable forever. Um, because it's cool. part of CircuitPython. It's VIP. Next up. Meowbit. Meowbit now runs CircuitPython. I and did a little demo. We even did a demo. It. So let's uh, let's play a video of past us. Go past um, me. Hot off the, the kitten press, which Wait. sounds... Meow. <laughs> 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 that's what it is. Oh. So take I it do away. like squishing kittens, yeah. but like gently. All right, Lady Ada, what is this? Hey, Phil, this is a CircuitPython Sunday. I'm testing out a new pull request to add support. Circuit Python, you can see the link up there, to the meow bit. This is like a micro bit kind of compatible, also works with Arcade from Kittenbot. It's a really adorable design. You can see you can make little arcade games with the D-pad. Um, but for this demo, I'm using Display.io, um, so we get the terminal, and I'm printing out the data from the built-in accelerometer, yeah. gyro, and temperature sensor. And then uh, you can go to the REPL, and you can uh, you know print things. Print. Hi, Blinka. So everything's working out so far. Um, so you're going to see this merge into Circuit Python real soon. Download it and install it onto your Meowbit. Okay. Also, we have a um, now playing display demo that you can use with Circuit Playground Bluefruit. It shows your current song information on the screen. So this is part of the projects that JP's doing to show all this cool Bluetooth low energy stuff that you can do. Um, you know, we've been doing the the Python on hardware newsletter for a few years now, and every single week there's yet another thing that is powering electronics or hardware using Python. So Boston Dynamics just released their Spot SDK. It's open source and it's Python powered. So if you want to um, ever control or work with one of these uh, Pack bots. Pack bots that I, so I would, I would want to understand what's going on inside of it. So I think this is good. Um, so there's a Python quick start. Um, we link to that and more. And here you can see Adam Savage, who I think uh, has one on loan for a while, and they're going to put it through its paces. But it's on GitHub and more. Here is some cool custom front panel stickers for um, the thermal camera project that Cedar Grove did. That just looks good. Alex is working on a sock puppet robot using Circuit Python and Cricket and Circuit Playground. Here is an Asteroids game. So there's a few schools that are using Python for uh, instructional use, you know, learn how to program. But with the Python on hardware things that are available now, like the Pi Gamer, you can do a full featured game. So this is an 11th grade class game, and it's Asteroids. So it's exactly what you expect, and kids made this. Um, other things that we saw in the community this week, uh, this is kind of a neat idea. So musical instruments, if it's too humid, they start to bend and warp and they sound different. So, or if it's uh, not humid enough. Yeah, or, or if it's not they humid enough. Um, so an educator made this really cool uh, humidity sensor using a circuit playground and circuit python. That's kind of cool. Um, this is the glass cube that was making the rounds. This is a 4x4 LED cube, all programmed with, you guessed it, circuit python. Program with other things, but on glass. one of the things that uh, they showcased is it's easy to change and program using CircuitPython. This is a cool project. Uh, this is a uh, prototype of a community art installation, and when you press the buttons on the Pi Portal, it controls the music and audio that's inside GarageBand. So as you uh, press stuff, it will beep beep, you know, goes changes and will uh, play different things inside of you know, it's installed on all Macs. Easy, easy to use and easy to interact with. Um, this is kind of neat. So uh, we're always trying to figure out like how do we describe what CircuitPython can do. Luckily, uh, people usually do a better job uh, even than we could because they're they're using it for the first time and they're just hitting Twitter and just like, wow, CircuitPython users are living in the future already. Plug and play Python. 
PNPP on hardware, IoT under five minutes, great documentation, examples, and wonderful community support. This is an Adafruit Pi badge connected to the internet using ESP8266 airlift feather wing. So um, the other part of this was they were able to uh, do something really complex in uh, about two minutes and less than 40 lines of code. So we're in a good spot. That's where we want to be, being able to do that first five minute project like blinking an LED in less than a, in less than a minute that's old now that's easy um, not for other things but for circuit Python is but then IOT projects in a matter of minutes it's powerful powerful um, JP testing out the uh, winter bloom module so uh, here is a view from JP cigar box synth I think and it's using this really neat um, soul MIDI CV module, and it's coded with CircuitPython. Joey, who won the Take Flight with Feather contest, is working on all sorts of things. This is the Babel board. It's basically a chip with a lot of the font information on it. And uh, it's a little feather wing that plugs in the back. So you get all the fonts uh, and all the ways to display text on a screen very easily. Also this week, uh, here is an in-progress of the NXP based feather, Arturo and Lady are working on that. It's the RT uh, 1011. RT 1011. Mm -hmm. And uh, we also got Clue running on a bright board. So Clue is a micro bit shaped board. Uh, we'll talk about that later on in the show. And uh, we wanted to make sure it worked with some of the micro bit accessories, and it does. Um, the cool thing about this, you can drag and drop your own image on there. I happen to like Powerpuff Girls, so I put that on my board. <laughs> And then uh, this week coming up, Scott's going to be doing a talk at Pi Cascades, February 8th and 9th. So if you're in Portland, check it out. Um, if it's streamed or anything else, we will... It's a nice small local Python yeah, conference. Yeah, we'll, uh, less we'll intense post in Python. Some more. Okay. okay. That's Python on hardware this week. Quite a bit going on. All right. Uh,